Okay, this is the third of four um, lessons on the order of operations. Um, today what we're going to look at is exponents. The first thing we need to understand is what is an exponent? That's your essential question. This whole thing here is a power. That's what we call it. Anything going to an exponent is a power. But inside the power, that would represent your base. And this would represent your exponent. So again, if I had the power, 4 to the 5th, remember this is a power, my base is 4, my exponent is 5. That's how you identify those things. What the exponent does for us is it tells us how many, how many times to multiply the base by itself. And so 5 to the 3rd would mean that you want to do 5 times 5 times 5. Notice this says you need 3 of them, and that is what you get. So then you simplify by doing your multiplication here, which is 25 times 5, and that would equal 125 altogether. So again, anytime you see an exponent, it's telling us to multiply this three times, expand it out, and work it out from there. So how do exponents change what we've already learned about the four fundamental operations? What you need to understand is that, remember we talked about addition, subtraction being level one, multiplication being level two, exponents are level three. They are the highest priority above all the other operations that you see, and so they should be simplified first before you do anything else. Okay. So in your example where we talked about addition and subtraction as students and multiplication and division as teachers, the exponent would be the principal because the principal is the most important person in school. And I'm sure that if teachers were standing in line waiting for food, that the principal could walk in front of them because he is the uh, boss of the whole school in, anyway. So again, exponents are your principal. Multiplication and division are your teachers. Addition and subtraction are your students. Typically, no calculators are allowed on order of operations because um, pretty much we need to know that you know how to work it out without. Uh, so the best way to work out exponents would be to go to a scratch area and do it. And so the best way, again, to do that is to expand it and then simplify it. That way you keep from doing something silly. For example, if I have 4 to the third, the first thing people think is 12. But if I go off to the side and expand it, 4 times 4 is already 16, so I know it can't be 12, and I can kind of make sure I get the right answer. So again, when you work it out, the best way to do it is to expand it. Do not do any other operations until your exponents are simplified, because that would be breaking the rules of your lunch line um, etiquette, so to speak. In terms of your examples, I think common sense pays, pays off here. When you look at this, the first thing I notice is that there's a little 3 here that needs to be dealt with before I can do anything. And so what I'm going to do is go off to the side, expand my 2 to the third, that is 4 times 2, which is 8, and then rewrite everything else. 3 times 8, or sorry, plus 8, divided by 4, parentheses 2, minus 6. From there, we play our game of VIP. Are there any VIP in line? Yep. 8 divided by 4, so 3 plus 2, parentheses 2, minus 6. Are there any VIP in line? Yep, there's your multiplication, 3 plus 4 minus 6, which turns into 7 minus 6, or 1. So notice, once we got rid of the exponents, it's the same thing we did the last couple lessons, where we just take care of any multiplication or division first, and then deal with our addition and subtraction. Here, 3 times 8 divided by 2 squared divided by 2. First thing I notice is this weird little floating number up there, which I'm going to take over here and expand, making sure I get the answer of 4, and rewrite it as it is. VIP, first one in line is 3 times 8, which is 24, divided by 4, divided by 2. First one in line is 24 divided by 4, which is 6, divided by 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. I don't think it's tough. I think you just got to make sure you um, continue to practice, continue to ask questions. Uh, math is the only subject that you get better by messing up. And so for those of you who are afraid to mess up, you're not going to do well because you don't get any mistakes out of the way. And then when you take your test or quiz, you make your mistakes there and your grade is affected. You would rather in math class mess up in class, like on your homework, so you can figure out what you did wrong. And then that way you take it to the quiz and you do better on those. So like I said, just keep that in mind. You're supposed to mess up in math. You're supposed to get frustrated. We all do. Just make sure you hang in there and, like I said, just be persistent. It eventually does stick. 
Reading this next one, again, the first thing I notice is this weird little 2, so I'm going to do 4 squared first, which is 4 times 4, not 8, but 16. And so 7 plus 3, parentheses 16, minus 6, divided by 2. Next thing I need to do is 3 times 16, and so I'm going to go off to the side for this and do my long multiplication. 3 times 6 is 18, carry the 1. 3 times 3 is, or sorry, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 makes 4. So 7 plus 48 minus 6 divided by 2. Looking for any VIP in line, there is one right there, your division. So 7 plus 48 minus 3. That turns into 55 minus 3, which is 52. And then the last example of the day, 80 divided by 2 to the third times 6 plus 2. Again, the first thing I notice is this weird little 3 floating there, the exponent. And so I go off to the side and expand it. That's 4 times 2 or 8. So 80 divided by 8, parentheses 6, plus 2. First VIP in line is 80 divided by 8, which is 10 times 6 plus 2. First VIP in line is your multiplication, 60 plus 2, which is 62 altogether. Your final thought is crucial. Remember to slow down when evaluating exponents. The main thing people do wrong is they accidentally multiply the base by the exponent because they're so used to doing it and that causes them to miss a lot of points. Also remember that we do not do any other operations until all of our exponents are gone. Okay. So again, anytime you see an exponent, it, it prior, it's the first priority over everything else in the problem. Don't do any addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. And again, be sure to ask questions on all the things you have uh, issues with. You are in here to mess up so you can learn not to mess up. Uh, that is the best way to learn how to do math um, is through experience. So other than that, again, good luck and have a good day.